Boom. Yes, yes, T Raw Beats back on your screens to make some banging beats. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I go about making a little baby, little dirt type beat from scratch. So, I'm just going to show you my workflow, my way of doing it, my kind of formula, just to make these beats a lot more simple. So, if you're liking the content on the channel, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so YouTube tells you when I release another gem. So, I'm not going to waste no more time. Let's get straight into the video. Come on. Yes, so I've got my session of Beatmaker 3 loaded up. So as you can see here, the main method of what I use to kind of make these little baby 4PF type beats is obviously the piano sounds. I use four main pianos. So what the method is, is to fill up the frequencies within the beat. So I always have something within the low end, the middle, and then the high end of the frequencies. So as you can see here, I've got a low piano. And in my scales, you can see here I've got my trusted skills to the right to use as a point of reference and I use the typical chord progression where you start off at the root note and then you go down four semitones so that's what gives it that kind of like dark feel and that's what you hear in most of those 4PF type beats as well so as you can see here I started off with the D then I go down four semitones to the A sharp so let's have a little listen here very simple kind of like chord progression just going down for semitones and for the effects on that I just added a single value filter just to take out some of the low end so it leaves some room for the eight weights to pop through so the preset that I'm using is pure piano so this is the kind of my go-to piano that I use and for this kind of preset here I've got it near to the default which is kind of like the natural piano but I've added a little bit of cinematic elements towards it as well just to give it a bit of airiness and a bit of character so that's what I've used for the low end for the second part of the melody as I was saying I want to fill up some of the middle frequencies here so I've got some notes here in a more kind of like the middle zone of the octave so as you can see I'm playing with these tension notes and it's all these notes where you have two notes together playing within that range kind of gives you that dark feel so all I did was started off with a D, then I went up to the next semitone within the scale which is the E and then to the third which is the actual F and for the second part I just dropped down to the chord progression which is the A and I still played with notes right here going back to the D so let's have a little listen to that So this is what I like about the pure piano. So you've got different elements that you can add in. And for this part here, I went down to the intimate element. So with this, it kind of just makes it sound a little bit more subtle and kind of gentle as well. This gives it just a nice little feel to kind of go with the lower notes. And for the effects, I just added in a little bit of a delay. We turned the wet down just for a little bit. So it's just got a little bit of tail end in the middle melody as well. So for the third part of the melody, I just wanted to add a bit of a counter melody to the middle part as well, just to make it sound a bit more full. So for this part here, I just started off with the root note again. So I'm um, taking out some of that middle notes there and just kind of playing with the root note and the seventh are really good notes to kind of use within the actual melody. So I went down to the A sharp and this is the seventh of that A sharp as well. So let's listen to that. Really simple and just for the effects, I just added in a slight reverb, 15% uh, mix, just to kind of give it some space and character as well, so it's just not sounding dull. So that's the lower and middle part of the frequencies. And right now, my method to add some repeating notes just in the top layer, just to tie it in together and make it sound a bit more full and just a little bit of ear candy to go in the top levels of the frequencies as well. So let's have a little listen to this. So 
So my thought process behind this is basically with the middle melody, I used the D, then I went up to the next note within the actual scale, and then up again, playing with these tension notes. So this is kind of like a, a faster, it's not quite triplet, but it's got that triplet feel. So it's just like a, a faster version of the counter melody that I did. Just playing a more of a repetitive note, so you've got some ear candy. This is just something within the high octave of the frequencies as well. So that's what I'm trying to achieve and that's the kind of like the whole goal. So um, this is where I've gone up an octave. So I'm in a D5, the counter melody before was D4 and then the actual lower notes is around about the D2 or D1 notes. And for the effects, what I've used on that is a single value filter. So this acts as a high pass to cut out any low end and I've done it a little bit higher up. So then the, the actual mid range has got some space within the mix and the low end has as well. And it's added a little bit of reverb again to give a bit of character and not make it sound so dull. So to kind of save in CPU, I just rendered that higher melody part out and I just recorded it. So it's just got its own audio recording and it just sounds literally the same. Yeah, I know it looks like there's nothing there, but there's something there. There's something there. But let's just play all four elements together. So I'll just start with the low end, I bring in the middle part, and then I bring up the higher part, and then you can hear it all together to see what it sounds like. So for this part here, I've just got the classic trap bell. So add a little bit of tail end, a bit of delay in that to kind of give it that extra effect. Then I've got a reverse trap bell. It sounds really good when you use it just before the end of the bar, just to kind of build up into the first trap bell that you might use. So let's have a listen to that. Let's listen to all that together. So that's all it is, just kind of four pianos, lower frequency, middle frequency, counter melody in the middle frequency or high, it's up to you, and then something within the higher frequency. And all that kind of completes that whole kind of composition. And I find that method is what you hear in a lot of these little baby and little dirt type beats. So now let's move on to some drums. So really, really simple. I didn't even overcomplicate this. I just use a, a standard kind of like snare. This is within my drum kit, so it's like a strong snare. It's kind of like a snare and a little clap, so it's kind of layered. So it hits on every half bar. And then for the second part, I just added in a little counter snare. See what that sounds like all together. So for the hi-hats, just added in a simple two-step bounce. So then I added in another hi-hat, which is slightly different. This is kind of a bit more of a pitched hi-hat. And I just added in some extra accents in there as well. So to do these rolls, I just put this into the 64 step. And what's good as well is that you can do triplets as well. So I just click on and use the brush tool just here, and then you click on it, and then you can drag it out to however long that you want. But you've got to move each MIDI down yourself. So what I tend to do is just do it halfway. Then I move some of these ones down. Then I click this select tool, and then I'll duplicate it. Then I bring that down again. And then what I do is I just play with the velocities where I can just bring it straight down. So I click the velocity tool and then you can just drag it down. So now we've got the standard hi-hats kind of going in, just having some open hats within it as well, just to give it another element. So for this one here, just use two for my kit. 
very very simple and just do a start and hit for the first one and then then just a counter one with the other open hat so let's listen to this very very simple so now to finish it off all i do is just add in some 808s so for the 808 weight i got here it's my range 8 weight just a nice booming 808 and again just following the same kind of notes within the scale so with the d going down to the a and then playing with notes in the middle so this is the f which is all in scale and then they're back to the a as well so let's have a listen to what this sounds like So I added a bit of um, fade in here. So when you fade in some of the A weights, it just gives it a bit of a different bounce as well. So playing around with the velocities is something definitely that I would include in all your compositions. And finally, just got some kicks, all these within my drum kit as well. So for this section here, just more or less kind of following the eight weights. So each eight weight can hit hard. So listen. I like to add another little kick in there, just one of my filler in kicks. And um, I feel like it just needs to go on the offset. And then to finish it off, just a nice little riser, just to give it that nice little element leading up to the end of the loop. One of my go-to risers, so let's listen to all that together. There you go, that's the beat. Just four pianos, a simple snare, a simple counter melody, hi-hats, open hat, 808, kick. And I'm starting to find that simplicity is key simplicity given the art is space simplicity is key so i'm just going to play the beat and just kind of play all different parts of the piano and then you just hear the whole thing kind of tied in together so let's see what it sounds like Just a simple method to making these little baby, little dirt, 4PF type beats. And just only needing a few instruments, you know. Um, for all the variations, I would probably add in some violins, something orchestral, and even just some one-shot effects, maybe some accents. But you can just have it very, very simple, or you can bring in some of those elements. So stay tuned on the channel. I'm gonna make more of these type beats, some future type beats, just some other variations as well to show you my workflow. So leave a little comment down below with the kind of type beats or tutorials you want to do next. Peace.